bucket mouth. <laughs> Lojo Fishing here. Very excited to announce that I have picked my new kayak. It's actually sitting right there. You guys can't see it. But before I tell you what I bought and show it to you, let me just quickly kind of go through the kayaks that made my final cut and explain quickly why I chose the one I did. Okay. So first of all, if you guys watched my first video, um, I had three kayaks on there. I actually added one final kayak. That, that completed my top four. So if you didn't watch the first video, or just for a quick recap, I was looking at the Native Watercraft Slayer Propel 13. I was looking at the Hobie Pro Angler 12. And I was looking at the Perception Pescador Pilot 12. Okay, the fourth kayak that came onto the list and partially because of you guys and your suggestions was the native watercraft Titan 13.5 okay so that was my top four okay those were the ones that I narrowed it down to and I decided okay let me go on a mission and figure out which kayak I'm gonna buy so I was able to test drive three of those kayaks which leads to my first cut the first kayak that I cut from the list was unfortunately the Perception Pescador Pilot. Now guys, I was really excited about that boat when I first made that first video because it was affordable, I liked the way it was designed, the way it looked. It appeared that some of the bugs had been worked out by the manufacturer. I was excited about all that stuff guys, but the problem was is I didn't know about the stability. There was no way to know unless you test it and I was unable to test it. I could not find any place within four hours drive of where I live to test drive a pilot. So I had to cut it off my list because of that. And it's a shame, you know, I tried to contact Perception um, and, you know, try to schedule something and work something out. I couldn't get a hold of anybody. So sorry Perception, but you know, anyways. So, that left the top three of the two native kayaks, the Titan, the Propel 13, and the Hobie Pro Angler 12. So, I drove down to Panama City Beach, and now you guys are going to see some footage, just some real quick footage of me test driving the kayaks. Um, I started with the uh, native watercraft, Propel 13. It was a good boat, you know, it was, uh, it was pretty stable. You know, I went from a Jackson Big Rig to that. So the Propel 13 is about three, four inches um, smaller in width than the Jackson Big Rig. So I could feel that. I could feel that there wasn't as much width there. Um, I could stand in it, no problem. The pedal drive was nice. It was really cool going from a paddle to a pedal. Um, but it just wasn't, didn't feel like enough boat for me. You know, like I said, I was coming from a bigger boat. So I, it felt like I was downsizing. And that's not what I wanted to do, you know. For me, stability was the number one thing. So I had to axe Native Watercraft Propel 13, okay. That's a great boat. I'm glad I got to test drive it because I could recommend it to you guys, especially if you're a smaller individual. You guys, I got to remind you, I'm 6'2", I'm 250. I'm a big guy. If you're 5'9", and you're 170, the Propel 13 would probably be great for you. You know what I mean? But you got to go with what fits you and what fits your style of fishing. I like to stand. I want to be able to stand. I want to be able to lean really hard to one side to get a fight and fish and not fall out. So that, you know, that led to me cutting the NATO 13. So that leaves a showdown between the Hobie Pro Angler 12 and the Native Watercraft Titan. Okay. I test, I test drove these things side by side. Okay. And let me tell you, it was, it was close. That was my final two for a reason, because they are both good boats. Um, real quick, I'm gonna go over the, the positive and negatives of both, and I'm gonna reveal to you which one I bought. So I'm gonna start with the Hobie. The Hobie was awesome, man. That Mirage Drive was so cool. Effortless, effortless pat, pedaling, I'm sorry. I mean, it's just, it was so cool. It turned on a dime, guys. When I say on a dime, I mean it turns around in its own wake. I mean, 
less than that even. I remember when I was test driving it, it turned so well, I thought I was going to fall out of it because it turned so sharply. Um, it's a great boat, stable as all get out. It's real heavy, but that's kind of what you want when you're looking for stability. Now, real quick negatives, did not have an instant reverse. You got to pull the cord, you know, it's not hands free, it's not instant. That was really annoying to me when I was test driving it. It just was annoying. It was really hard to do too. It was hard to pull that cord and get the, the flippers to, you know, flip and go in reverse. I knew that was going to be the big negative on the Hobie, but I didn't want to rule the Hobie out because I knew the Hobie was such a good boat. So then I got the Titan. The Titan was the most stable boat, hands down. And it should be because it's the widest boat and probably the heaviest boat. Um, it's a huge kayak, you know. So I got in that. The first thing that I liked about it was the stability, the room. You know, there's, there's a ton of room in that boat because it's so large. It's got the instant reverse. You know, it's got the propel drive, which was very effortless. Um, and it turned better than the Slayer Propel 13, but it didn't turn as well as the Hobie. It didn't turn as well as the Hobie. That was one negative. Another negative was this boat is huge, guys. It's freaking huge. I was thinking about how am I going to load this thing into my truck, you know. And the guy that had the Hobie to let me test drive it, he loaded it right in the back of his truck, right out of it. The guy that had the Titan, he had to have a trailer. So that was a big negative for me too. So, you know, I took all those factors into, into play. And without further ado, I know you guys are wet, wet, waiting for me to shut up so you can see it. So let's take a look at my new kayak and then I got one other thing to tell you guys. Alright guys, the decision has been made. I went with the Native Watercraft Titan Propel 13.5. Look, it's a beast of a boat, okay? And it wasn't even in my top three. But because of so many of you that mentioned it, I had to go and do a little research of my own. When I figured out it was the same price as the Hobie Pro Angler 12, that really made the decision easy for me. Because two, really two things. One, the stability of the Titan is way better than any kayak I've ever been on. And like I said, it should because it's 41 inches wide. It's huge. You know, it's a platform. That's a floating platform. And the other reason was a no-brainer. It did not, the Hobie Pro Angler 12 did not have the easy reverse. I mean, I'm sure if I got used to it, you know, pulling that cord would become, you know, an easy thing. But I just didn't like the fact that I had to stop what I was doing, pull a cord, you know, take my feet off the, the pedals, and man, that is just a, that's just a pain, you know? It's just a pain. Anyways, I made my decision. Um, I'm not gonna do a review of this yet. From my experience, you can't do a good review of a product until you've had it and use it for a couple weeks. You know what I mean? So the plan is, I'm gonna use it the next couple weeks. I'm gonna go fishing. I may make a couple videos, you know, just fishing in the Titan. And then at that time, I'm gonna do a review, okay? I'm gonna take all the positives and the negatives and there are negatives for this boat, but that's how a review is. You gotta be honest about things. So be looking forward to that. Hopefully next week I'm gonna have a fishing video for you guys in it so we can kind of test out maybe the stability and how it handles in the water. And otherwise, like this video if you enjoyed. Thank you to each and every one of you that commented on my first video. A lot of you gave me some really good ideas on you know what I should consider when buying a new kayak. So I appreciate every single one of those comments, and I read every single one of them. So thank you so much for that engagement. Guys, hit that like button if you're happy for me buying the Titan. I am stoked. I couldn't be any happier. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Two videos every week. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Guys, I love you. Also, congratulations to the winner of the giveaway. That was at the very beginning of the, of the video. Send me an email at lojo.fishing and the username better match up or I'm not going to answer you. See you guys later.